All right, I'm going to teach you how to deal with negative exponents, okay? So here we have x cubed over x to the negative 4, okay? Where I come from, if you're being negative, we're moving you. And what I mean by being negative, the exponent has to be negative. So the x cubed is upstairs. He's minding his own business, so let's leave him there. But this x to the negative 4 is downstairs. We got to move him upstairs till he becomes positive. And there's really a one over there, but nobody ever puts it. Anyhow, so x cubed times x to the fourth is x to the seventh. Over here, equal sign line. This guy, he's upstairs. He's being negative. See, he's got a negative exponent. He's moving downstairs until he straightens out his act. This guy, x squared, he's downstairs being positive. Leave him down there. And when there's nothing here in math, you put a one. So what is that? 1 over x to the 5th times x squared is x to the 7th. This one seems a little more complicated. we got to distribute that exponent. So 2 cubed is what? 2, 4, 8. 8x eight to the, when you raise to a power, you multiply exponents. Now, this equals what? This 8 is upstairs. He's being positive, so leave him there. This x to the negative 6 being negative, move him downstairs until he's positive, and there you go. Now, just so I, we're clear about this negative and positive business, what if I had a negative there, okay? What is negative 2 cubed? Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. This negative 8 would have stayed there. You only move if the exponent is negative. That, my friends, is how we deal with negative exponents.